we are going to talk about COVID-19 vaccine. As most of you know, uh, there is currently two uh, vaccines approved. Uh, they are both emergency approval. That means that they haven't done the whole workup they usually do for vaccines and is approved uh, based on emergency. So uh, the side effects uh, long term are not known, uh, but at this point it's recommended uh, to uh, 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 the only way to prevent and uh, protect against COVID-19. There is a, a new vaccine going to come out uh, probably by end of February from Johnson Johnson. Uh, as you know, uh, the one that is currently available is two shots within three to four weeks apart. And the Johnson Johnson is uh, only one shot. Uh, they work differently. The two available are uh, mRNA uh, vaccine and the Johnson Johnson uh, is a DNA vaccine. I'm not going to go to the detail of that, but we're going to talk about the, the practical uh, uh, questions that people usually ask me. Uh, question number one, is it safe uh, during pregnancy? Is it recommended? Uh, again, there is no research done on the pregnant woman. There's no studies done, but based on the facts and what's known with other viruses and other uh, uh, vaccination, it should be okay for pregnant woman. It's recommended by CDC, it's recommended by uh, a World Health Organization, WHO, even though at first they didn't recommend it, they only said it's for high-risk patients. Uh, and uh, it's recommended by American College of OBGYN. Uh, also for breastfeeding mother, it's recommended as well uh, to be uh, given. Uh, if someone is high-risk, for sure, for sure. Uh, if someone is low-risk, again, uh, you should talk to your doctor and see if it's uh, what the risk and what the risk and benefits are, but it's recommended by uh, main uh, organizations.